Hello guys, uh, today we're going to be installing a leather steering wheel on my 2018 EX CRV. Uh, let's get it started. that I bought so a lot of people sell these on eBay because uh, they upgrade their EX from this leather to uh, the heated one so this one pretty decent condition um, got it for 60 bucks shipped to the house so there's plenty of ones uh, on eBay you can buy I'll leave the part number in the description so you can get you one first thing uh, gonna have to disconnect the battery so we'll take off the negative terminal just need a 10 millimeter bolt and you take that bolt off so right once you loosen this bolt just remove it out and just kind of push it out of the way so it doesn't touch anything now we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes before you go inside for the next step we're gonna have to pop the the airbag off so for that you need to look for this hole and use something long like this put it in there and there is a spring that you had to push so this doesn't fit i gotta grab something else it's pretty hard to get a camera angle of that so i'll show you guys um have the airbag off right now i'm gonna have to unplug it too um behind this so i'll kind of explain how the airbag is held so you see these two pins right here that spring right there and the hole this is this goes into that hole right there what you're doing with the punch is you Pushing that pin out from the bottom. Uh, where am I? Let's see. You see where my punch going in through? And you're pushing that pin out so it pops right out. You see that moving right there? So when you move it, this just pops out. So that's pretty much what you're doing on both sides. Uh, to unplug the airbag, you see these wide tabs. There's one here, one here. Here, what you're doing is squeezing both of them and pulling out. Um, I'm gonna hold the airbag with the other hand, so I'm gonna put the camera off. You already do. Bring in fat fingers. Uh, so you're, you see this right here? You're pulling it up on this on both sides. So you probably should use both nails. I'm gonna try to do it with again. this one, there's a tab right here. You just push it down, release that. Once you have that off, both of these off, airbag is pretty much free. Take it out, face it up and put something, put it somewhere else. Make sure not to drop it. All right, now we got this. Next thing, we're gonna unplug this white clip right here. You have a tab right here, push it on the bottom and pull it out. These are all pretty tight, so this is attached to your clock spring too. So I'm gonna use the two hands to get that. All right guys, so to remove this, you need a 10 millimeter hex bit. Uh, I didn't have one, so I had to go get one from Home Depot. You see all that blue on there? But as a Loctite, so they recommend you replace the bolt, but uh, I'm just gonna reuse it. I got some Loctite, so if you have blue Loctite, you can use that and reuse the bolt also. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be using an impact to get this off. You don't have to use one. I don't know why I'm using a bunch of extensions. Let's see. Alright so pretty much after that this should uh, come out. You don't really need a steering wheel puller or anything like that. It literally just came out. Um, let's see, kind of hard to, there you go. There we go. Make sure that clock spring stays just how you pull it off so don't rotate it. Um, top part stays like that. Alright we can leave this and go swap everything over. Yeah, one of these tools will be super helpful. You can kind of get in there and lift this up. This is the first thing you're going to take off. Now you got to get this back cover off. I'm going to use this to pry around all of these areas. So after I took this, this part, this trim off. 
I went ahead and did the back cover. Um, so the cover, it's kind of easy. There's these two tabs you pull out and there's this major one right here. So you just have to use your prying tool, get behind it. So there's one, two, and three here. And you just unplug these two. That's all. So the one I got from eBay came with this. So this kind of shows how easy to get out. You got three of these tabs in the back. So all you're gonna do is just push it out from here and here. All right guys, so just pull this off. Um, once you have that two in the back, there's this one right here and this tab and that tab. Just gonna have to play around with it. Be slow so you don't break it because this is one piece. And this actually just stays out separately. So this is the ones I pulled off of this. I'm gonna transfer it to the other. to tuck in all the leather around the corners once you have the trim back on make sure to put the two screws back all right, guys we're ready to go back in with the wheel so make sure this clock spring hasn't rotated you know once you pulled it off it's been staying there like that also when you park your car make sure you park it straight and you know that way you can kind of aim it in perfectly install it otherwise when you drive it it's not going to be aligned uh so let's just put this back in all right so you literally just uh, slide it back in there make sure your clock spring is in the center and there's a wide tab on there that will go into this hole so that way you know it's aligned once we have this we're gonna put the bolt back in plug in the airbag and we're pretty much done we got a new wheel and put some uh, blue loctite on there and we're gonna put this right back in come back with our wrench and tighten this up once you have your bolt kind of installed come back with the torque wrench and put in a uh, 36 foot pounds and uh, we're gonna be good to get up now it's time to plug in our airbag back in uh, pretty easy this is a reverse process snapped on and this one, one uh, just push it back in pretty much Hard to record with the, there you go. And you should hear a snap once it goes in. There you go. That's what we need. We're good to go. Just turn this around. And have everything in. plugged in, push, put it back in the spot. And all you're doing is just pressing both sides. You should hear a click. There you go. And your airbag is set. We're good to go. This is it. That's how you swap a steering wheel. In a 2017 to 2020, pretty much the same. Um, the minor differences if you're doing like the Civics and the Accords. Um, other than that, that's pretty much how you do it. We just gotta plug the battery back in and we're good to go. Um, if you like this, guys, um, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more content. Uh, let me know what you think. Also, follow me on Instagram, EastleepJD. Uh, if you're in the local Dallas area, trying to do this hit me up probably could help you out all right guys till next time your car back on you're gonna have a bunch of lights don't be scared it will clear out <laughs>